Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the CRAM, the self-defense weapon that protects US naval ships. We explore how the missile system helped protecting the ships from many threats on the sea, including cruise missiles, drones and helicopters. What makes this weapon system so impressive? Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Developed and produced by Raytheon, CRAM is a missile defense system that targets ships, missile and even drones. It provides better ship self-defense and longer keep-out ranges in dangerous battle conditions. It was delivered to the United States Navy in March 2008, expanding its defensive capabilities. With this armament system, Navy ships may attack sea-skimming ballistic missiles, anti-ship weapons, fast-approaching boats, helicopters, fixed and rotary wing aircraft and other tactical attacks with high accuracy. The CRAM is an improved system combining the MK-15 close in-weapon system phalanx and the MK-31 ram launching system. A major step forward in maritime combat technology, this cutting-edge security system was assigned for installation on board the USS Independence. Thorough measures were taken when the CRAM system was delivered to guarantee it would work to its full potential in protecting military people and equipment. A daring step that demonstrated the Navy's steadfast dedication to security and privacy was the 2009 installation of the CRAM system on the hangar roof of the LCS-2 ship. It reflects the military's commitment to constantly improving its security policies. Exceptionally precise weapon systems and sophisticated detectors are the backbone of the CRAM system. These are meant to pinpoint, follow and kill approaching missiles accurately, eliminating any danger. The US Navy tested the CRAM from the USS Independence in May 2010 to ensure the weapon system and ship were structurally sound. Extreme care was taken throughout these examinations, and the outcomes were remarkable. As it provides the United States Navy with unmatched protection for its people and property, the CRAM system heralds a new age in military technology. The admirable job it does of protecting the seas is evidence of how far naval warfare has come and how committed military personnel are to maintaining internal stability no matter the cost. The United States Navy and its coalition partners are prepared to face any threat, with CRAM at the forefront. Modern missile systems like the RAM, Rolling Airframe Missile, have certain features that make them very efficient and effective. Since the missile must roll while in flight, the term Rolling Airframe Missile couldn't be more descriptive. This is because the missile's RF tracking system is limited to monitoring phase distortion of electromagnetic waves in just one plane, since it uses a two-antenna interferometer. The antennas utilize a rotating interferometer to view all the energy in the aircraft, enabling remarkable accuracy and precision. The rotation of the interferometer helps the missile function better, and the missile's rolling motion is also quite necessary. In addition, because the missile rolls, only one pair of steering canids is required. As of 2005, it is the only US Navy missile to operate this way. Using this cutting-edge technology and distinctive capabilities, no US Navy missile has been operational since 2005, saving the RAM missile system. It is an enormous step forward in missile technology thanks to its refined design and cutting-edge RF tracking system. There are three different versions of the RAM missile – Block 1, Block 1A and Block 2. On the battlefield, each of these setups is far more successful and efficient due to its features and characteristics. The Block 1 version has a state-of-the-art image scanner to do autonomous, infrared navigation. With this new feature, you may hit opposing threats with pinpoint accuracy. At the same time, the Block 1A version of the missile has even more computational skills that make it even better at acquiring and tracking targets. The RAM Block 2 possesses a bigger missile motor, a more sophisticated control area and an enhanced RF receiver. 
These upgrades provide a missile that can effortlessly destroy even the most tough opponents. Germany and the United States have successfully deployed the revolutionary RIM-116 weapon system for some time. Its flawless performance has led to its adoption by 30 German warships. Moreover, with two RAM missiles per ship, the RAM-116 will be a standard feature on all newly built or updated German Navy vessels, especially the cutting-edge Braunschweig-class corvettes. In response to the RIM-116's exceptional efficacy, the Greek Navy strengthened its defense capabilities by installing the weapon system aboard its latest fast attack ships, the Rusyn Super Vita class. The US Navy has announced its intention to equip 74 vessels with 1,500 rolling airframe missiles and 150 launchers. Notable ships that have effectively launched the RAM missile include the modern Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers, the powerful America-class amphibious assault ships, and the littoral combat ships. Since its introduction in the 1980s, the rolling airframe missile has served as a trustworthy and efficient tool for the United States Navy to use in its arsenal, allowing it to identify and destroy enemy forces as they come. Curiously, the missile's name comes from its rolling clockwise or anti-clockwise as it gets closer to its target. Although there is no silver bullet, the CRAM system is a system that uses sensors and weaponry to build a strong barrier. The CRAM supremacy is not universally acknowledged. Despite its limited range, the Phalanx provides operators with crucial additional seconds, which has caused several Navy surface warfare experts to express their worries over its impending retirement. One reliable defensive device is the Phalanx, which can eliminate leaks, missiles that manage to evade the CRAM. Without a shadow of a doubt, the record-breaking price of this powerful missile is almost one million dollars nowadays. As technology continues to evolve, the US Navy and its allies may look forward to ever more advanced defensive systems in the years to come. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.